Let's get back into it. Nahum chapter one, verse seven. We're talking about trusting in the Lord. And I was doing this. I was doing this. Because what I was doing was showing you that in God we trust. In God we trust. And I was talking about before I got cut off on how this is going to be the, a season that we're going to have to trust in the Lord for our provision. Trust in the Lord for him to part the sea um, in our situations and circumstances because he's the only one that can do it. And we are to do our part faithfully as he has asked us to. We... Um, we continue to move forward, and um, and so let's begin. It says, the Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble, good and doing good and full of sweetness. I wanted to tell you really quick before I forget, Nahum is a prophet, and you can go into reading that because remember we discussed in the last video that I like to get you guys to do your own homework. So in this book, um, the first chapter talks about the character of God, and it talks about the kindness and sovereignty of God. The kindness and the sovereign, the, the severity of God's justice. Sorry about that. The overthrow and the comfort of Judah. So the first part is about the character of God, the kindness and severity of God's justice is from the chapter one. And so chapter one, verse seven talks about the promise. And as you can see, we spoke about what that promise is. The Lord is good. He's a stronghold in a day of trouble. Good in doing good. He's full of sweetness. Alike, good and mighty. Good in giving himself and imparting his goodness to his own people. Yeah, even none that is no good, that, you know, that is not good. You know, God is still looking to save them. You know, Luke chapter 18, verse 19 says, him, okay, wait, 18, 19, I hope that's is where I took it from, himself, the stronghold within his own army, take refuge, both in the troubles of this life and which uh, he will not suffer us to be tempted above that we are able. And that's also 1 Corinthians chapter 13. So you got Luke 18, 19, and 1 Corinthians chapter 10, 13. In that day, which shall, which side, which in every side, leave no place to escape except for himself. So you're saying that in the day of suffering, in the day of temptation, we always find ourselves in a place where there's nowhere to escape. There's, there's nowhere to go but to God. And... And I feel like even now, like even with everything that's happening, we're all looking to be in a place, but you're not going to find any place but in God. This is literally the season to, if you were lacking in your trust, if you were lacking, if you had your trust in him, then absolutely you'll be able to sit in peace. If you were lacking in the trust in God, then you are absolutely not in peace. If you lacked in, if you trusted everything else but God, then you're definitely not going to have peace because now that everything has been taken that you place your trust in, you have no peace because you don't know what it looks like for you. you don't We're just talking about how God knows. So God knows that, you know, what, what this is going to look like. He knows, you know, our future. So... All who had trust in him know that this is this is just us continue to trust in him. And for those who are not, well, that's why you have us. And we will help you find your trust in, in the Lord and, and build that trust. Um, there was something else here that... It says, them that trust in the Lord... Has made the trust a habit in their life, which has now become their reward. The trusters in the Lord take refuge in Him. It is a continuing trust to which is shown 
this ever-present love and knowledge. This gleam of comfort only discloses the darkness of the wicked, since those who, are, who trust in God are the ones who know God. It follows the rest it follows that the rest he knows not of. On this opening which sets forth the attributes of God toward those who defy him, those who trust in him, and has special direction on how to move forward in this season. So what it's saying is that those who had trust in him in this season, it's something they practice. They have practiced faithfully trusting in the Lord in all things. And they become trustees. And so the seasons like this where it's a struggle, um, it's not really a struggle for us. Because we have peace. And even if we don't know the future, then we still have peace. Even if we don't know um, the outcome, we still have peace. Because we know the end of the story. But for those who don't have trust in the Lord, don't know the end of the story. And that's why we need to continue to help each other with revealing the promises of God and leading them towards his character and nature. People need to know the character and nature of God. And it, it, it's, it's not a season to hold that back, but to reveal it ever so more than before. Because people need to know that the Comforter is here to comfort, but he's also here to deliver, and he's also here as, you know, the healer. He's also here as our provider. He's also here right now, omnipresent with us. So, you know, this is my third time trying this, and I'm not sure what's going on with the internet, but it's just a little bit. So anyway, Nahum, chapter 1, verse 7. The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of distress, and he knows those and he knows those that take trust in him. Find yourself trusting in the Lord this season so that he may not not that he might not know you cuz the Lord knows you, but that you may know him. We need to know the Lord. We need to know the ways of the Lord, the characteristics, should I say the nature of God, because we'll never fully know God but to know enough to know enough to understand enough to just with that alone will leave us in a very solid belief and whatever may come we are not or will not be shaken we cannot be moved because we know who our God is and so take this time in this season seek out find him find the name i said it yesterday find the names of god go through it see who he is ask yourself where have you seen him in these places and allow the lord to just minister to you at the same time through you so that you will learn to be a minister unto the lord so promise update this is day seven of god of declaring god's promise and we just did Nahum chapter 1 verse 7. And this is a time to get to know the Lord. Not a time to try to figure out what's happening in the world. Because I tell you what, no one knows. But I tell you what I do know. I know my future. How? Because I know the Lord. And so that's, that's all we need to know. Everything else, it's going to come back together. Because the world goes round. And everything that's happened before is happening again. It's not the first time we've encountered some type of disease in, in the universe. Seriously. We've had many. We can look at the history. This is just happening in our generation. And people survived. And we'll survive too. But this season, learn to trust the Lord. And I leave you with that. Let me pray for you. So, Father, we just thank you, God, for this hour. We, we just thank you for this time. We thank you, God, that you're building a solid foundation in us. We thank you, Lord, that the trust is going to be refocused in you this season. We are not going to just come out and say we trust this. It's the back of the money. It says we trust in you, Lord. And that is what we're going to cry out. If the money cries out, we trust in you, God, then we will cry out that we trust in you, Lord. So this season, God, lead us, lead us to the path of trusting you so that we can get to know you. It's not religion. It's relationship. Get to know him. And I hope that this helps you and blesses you. 
digging deep into the chapters like I am and, and get solid. Because now's the time to literally stand mature in our faith. So thanks for tuning in. I will see you again tomorrow. Be blessed.